His intent to, to try to get better is uh, special. So um, whether that's, you know, he's trying to communicate with his, with his starters, um, uh, not just me, rather, with, with, with all the guys in between the innings. I, I don't see him just doing that with me. I see him trying to get on the same page and be forward thinking about the next inning. And all, all that stuff kind of contributes to the continuity and the flow of the game uh, and any, any sort of extra communication you can have so that both, both the pitcher and the catcher are on the same page is, is super helpful for conviction, which is super helpful for executing the pitch. Um, his preparation before the game, we've talked about some of the stuff that I like to look at and divvied up a couple of those responsibilities in terms of um, if I know you're looking at this portion of the work and I'm looking at this portion of work, then we can have a conversation in the scouting report before the game and see if our reads match up. Um, and uh, I, I, I also see um, just I think he's, his work with Tanner has been impressive and um, his dedication to uh, trying to put him in a better put himself in a better position to block a ball, catch the ball, and and um, you know I, I've been around a handful of catchers, and I've never been around a guy with a 250 pound body trying to slug in the middle of the order and have you know be expected to hit 30 home runs and you know catch 140 games. Um, obviously, not going to happen in this season, but for the most part, like man is pretty blessed and pretty talented, and he works his butt off back there. So I've just been impressed.